Hi guys, welcome to part three. Um, with the power of, I guess, um, video editing, I've now basically installed or finished installing my Windows 10 virtual machine and also my Kali Linux updates have completed. Uh, to, to be honest, the, the, the updates in Kali Linux guys took around 15 to 20 minutes. And you can see here now I've got to my, I've installed the, the Windows 10 VM. So the first thing I'm gonna do now that we're back, I'm gonna go to command CMD, and I'm just gonna open up a command, a command prompt window. Um, I'm gonna type in IP config just to show you that Indeed, what I've got here, folks, is I've got a NAT network adapter for my Windows 10. Now, the problem that will bring is that I won't be able to communicate at the moment between my Windows machine and my Kali Linux and my Metasploitable 2. So what I'm gonna need to do is, I'm gonna need to shut this guy down and add another host adapter. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna literally go in here, right click, and I'm gonna shut this machine down so shut down and what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump back to my virtual box and i'm going to take a look at the settings so while that's shutting down in the background there it's going to disappear i'm going to now go into settings one thing i like to do again i like to take before i do anything else i like to take a quick so initial initial install so again, if I ever want to revert back to my initial state of my Windows 10, I'm gonna go into settings now, I'm gonna to go to network, I'm gonna click on adapter, I'm gonna click on enable a network adapter, and I'm gonna select the host only adapter selecting VBox Net. Once I click on okay to that, I'm gonna restart my um, Windows 10. And what that's going to do is that's gonna hopefully boot me up and I'm gonna essentially have two now network adapters. Hopefully in this case, it will also give me a network adapter that will allow me to communicate between my Kali and my Windows machine. So why are you using a set, if you've got Windows installed, why use a second you know, Windows, why have a VM? Well, if you're installing any tools or if you wanna download some software to test, regards to penetration testing or security testing, what you can do is install them, rather than install them on your host machine, you can install them on your virtual machine. Um, also, if you want to run tests from Kali against the VM to check if there's any vulnerabilities in this Windows 10, you can do so, rather than testing against your host machine. Okay, so again, it just gives us that isolation, um, which, which is nice. So as you can see here, I'm gonna click on my Windows machine. I'm gonna open up, just gonna log in using my password here. And essentially what I should be able to do then is I'm gonna go back into command prompt and check that I've got now two IP addresses. One obviously for the network address translation that we had before that will allow us to go out onto the internet, but also another adapter that will actually allow us to communicate between us here in this Windows VM and the Kali machine. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into, again, I'm gonna say CMD and hopefully open up a command prompt. Let's try that again. So CMD and I'll go into my command prompt. Going a little bit fast here. CMD. It's opening up Windows, uh, and it's well. Actually, in fact, guys, you can see that indeed it's it's doing it's it actually thinks I'm doing a search here. You can see that I am indeed connected to my internet, so that's a good sign. But what I'm actually looking for is I'm looking to commit to go into my CMD or my command. So CMD, I'm just looking for my command prompt. There we go. So again, I'll just click on this guy. Okay, and I won't do it too fast so that it thinks I'm searching. So that should open up my command prompt. And there we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an IP config. And if this is very small, and you can see it's 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 running out very, very slowly here, guys. Um, one thing that I did also do just while, um, while I wasn't recording, I just downgraded my RAM in my Windows 10 machine from two gigs to one gig, because I've now got a number of VMs working simultaneously. 
One thing you'll notice here though, guys, and again, it might be too small to see on your screen, but I can see that it's got now two Ethernet adapters. One is the NAT, and I can see the second one is our Ethernet 2 adapter, which is gonna be our host only. So what I can do now is I can ping across from ping 192.168.56, and then we just need to double check what our IP address was on our Kali. So ping to double check, I can see that our IP address was 118. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say 118, and what we can hopefully see is I've now got connectivity between my machines. And that's it guys, so that's our tutorial finished. Our Let Network Forensics Sandbox Lab setup. We've now got, if you like, three different virtual machines. We've got a Windows VM, which is Windows 10. We've got a Kali Linux VM, and we've got a Metasploitable 2 VM. Um, so over the course, we will be launching movies and video clips in the future to talk through some of the different tactics or tools that you can use to maybe attack this vulnerable machine and to show you some of the vulnerable services that it's got installed on this Metasploitable 2. And I'll be talking in future about some of the techniques that attackers use and the tools that they use from Kali Linux. Okay, that's it for today, folks. Um, thanks for viewing and see you soon.